clairvoyance. We've talked about that, right? However, clairvoyance also, voyance, it means seeing and being on a journey. Voyage means traveling, it means seeing other places. And it's kind of interesting how when looking at all of these words and all of these names, it brings up the origin of what the original people who once named it, what they were thinking. And it um, also indicates the confusion, the initial confusion from people. And mind you, that whoever first names something has a lot of power over what the perception is going to be in the future. So, however, who were these people? And we all know that in today's society, whoever's in charge of naming something or representing something and so on and so on. Um, we don't know what the state of mind was. And it's always hard for me to look at secondhand information. Meaning, someone describes something that he can't really describe and then I'm supposed to pick up through him what he failed to describe properly. And now I have to interpret it as closely as possible to reality. Come on, guys. You know, that's why miscommunication is so huge. And um, our mind and our, I don't know what you want to call it, your soul <coughs> works overtime at a very rapid speed, a much more rapid speed than your mind can process words. And so... Non-verbal communication is a must. And by the way, that's why I'm back on YouTube, because I actually realized that it's much better when you have a thought and your mind goes in circles to actually not make notes and then write it down. Even though I have to say there is a certain power in written wordings. You know what I mean? and um, sometimes too much power. But what's important, and, because, and once again, I'm only talking to arch negative people because it has been shown that we are highly intuitive. And those of you who are watching, I know you get me, you know? And I know there are people watching who come here now to hear about psychic phenomena and they want to be lied to, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm bigger than that, and I don't have that desire to do that. I'm talking to the arch negative people who are no longer able to verbalize what we are really searching for, but it's coming to us. And while I am making this video, things are coming to me that have been inside of me. But like I said, you live every day your life. You become sort of your outside world. And, mind you, the outside world is very, very much impacted by us. That's also why so many celebrities are RH negative. There's something about us that um, can bring out a reaction, a very positive but also a very negative one in the general population. And as long as you're not threatening, probably you are loved. The moment that people feel like you can do something they can't, that is uh, one thing, especially arch negative men have experienced very, very much, which is why there's such a social discomfort in arch negative men, much more than arch negative women, by the way. So, and that's also why I'm starting, why I've started my dating site. So, arch negative men and women find each other because I do believe in the yin and yang kind of thing. When they say, you know, I've, I've published this post, which already has been like slaughtered by dumb people about the higher sex drive in arch negative women, which is really re very real, as it is in women with red hair. But also, you can look up that the arch negative men have more of a passive way, you know what I mean? To, uh, but sort of connect with the opposite sex women. And uh, the norm is ours. We are our norm. 
and I have participated in a study that has verbalized it as a uh, very high sex drive or something like that. And I, uh, it was an unfor unfor unfortunate wording, but that's how many arch negative women have actually identified their own day to day habit. So don't compare yourself to what you have been taught is the norm. What works for you works for you. And finding the right partner, you will find out that you are perfect for the perfect per for the person that's perfect for you. Okay? So I want to make sure that everybody watching my videos feels the sense of empowerment, not a fake empowerment in terms of uh, motivational speaking, but all that has to be done is to remove all of these clouds, all of these stigmas, everything that's been created to put people down and keep people subservient, keep people, you know, not being themselves. Remove all of that. This is my message for you RH negative people. Let me see if I can find one more. Actually, this subject matter is now much more important. You know, I will probably leave it at this and then make another video. And I thank you guys for watching. It's Mike the Man. And I will post the link below to the most appropriate article on my blog related to what I've just talked about.